Good morning, I've got something pretty special for you all today. It's an item from Terraria that seems to be capable of moving around celestial bodies and blotting out the sun. I mean, this ring really isn't something anyone should be messing around with. So on that note, let's mess around with the solar tablet. The Solar Tablet is a tremendously powerful artifact found exclusively in the Jungle Temple. It is a stone tablet appearing to be constructed of a material akin to lizard brick and is etched with illegible text beneath an image of the sun. When the appropriate ritual is carried out while utilising the tablet, it will quite simply summon a solar eclipse to blot out the sun for the entire length of the day it was summoned on. Other than the obscuring of the sun, possibly the most notable effect of the solar tablet is that many typically unseen creatures of Terraria emerge. It is unknown if they are summoned by the tablet itself, or are merely creatures that stick to the darker reaches of the world and venture forth due to the darkness of the eclipse. Now while an intact solar tablet can occasionally be found in the chests of the jungle temple, it is much more common to find tablet fragments carried by the creatures dwelling inside the temple. It is clear that these tablets were created by the lizards, but it is much less obvious what caused so many to become fragmented. Some ideas state that the tablets are at first created in fragments as to avoid unleashing their power prematurely, only to be forged together when required. More accepted theories though seem to suggest that the tablets were once made en masse and something happened to shatter the great majority of them, leaving the lizards to quite literally pick up the pieces. In this event it is likely that the whole ones found in chests have been forged back together already, rather than being original ones, as distinct cracks are clearly visible on them. It may even be that the original unbroken tablets held a power unmatched by their fragmented counterparts. One story tells of a great war between two factions of lizards, where a perfect tablet was used as a sort of weapon of mass destruction that caused a perpetual night to fall across Terraria, only to end when the tablet was at last broken. In the intervening time, other tablets might have been smashed to prevent another such occurrence, inadvertently limiting their power in the process. Now for constructing an artifact that is quite literally capable of moving the moon so that it dominates over the sun, it has been suggested that the lizards are lunar worshippers, and some say are even in league with the moon lord himself. Unfortunately not a great deal is known about the lizards, and the lunatic cultists that have been seen operating in Terraria hide their features beneath thick cloaks and masks. Moving celestial bodies around the sky is no easy feat, and there is obviously some pretty powerful magic at work to achieve solar eclipses at will. However, the modern fractured solar tablet and its original unbroken form must really be treated as separate items. For being able to summon an unending knight, the original form of the tablet is clearly extraordinary. But because of the effort required to reforge the fragments, and due to the fact its effects wear off after a day, the modern version's artifact rating has been reduced to that of momentous. Sure, it's not extraordinary, but that's not really a rating to sniff at. I mean, blocking out the sun in any way, shape or form sounds pretty friggin' momentous to me. Anyway, that's about it for me today. As always, subscribe to the course for more material, and considering becoming a patron so that I have the funds to learn how to build a solar tablet myself. Just have a great week, everyone.